Hi everyone, I'm Jordan with the Inverter Service Center. Today I'm going to show you how to program your Victron BMV 712 battery monitor. I'm also going to show you some stuff that happens when you don't program it or you program it incorrectly. So if you're ready, let's dive on in. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to program the battery monitor using your phone or a tablet. Uh, if you don't have one of those two to use, you can actually program it directly through the battery monitor. We'll link the manual down below so you can check that out and see how that's done. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open the Victron Connect app. Once that app opens up, um, you're going to see that you're going to have a list of devices there that you can connect to. The first one we're going to connect to is the BMV for the battery monitor. So we'll click that. It's going to open up. It's going to ask you for the passcode the first time, which is going to be six zeros. You can put that in there. And if you want to change the passcode at that time, you can, or you can change it later. Uh, you're going to go to the gear up at the top, and you're going to go to battery. Once you open battery up, you're going to see there's actually a bunch of parameters that are already in there. 99% of the time, those don't fit your battery parameters need to be in there. Uh, so if you just leave this as is, you're going to have a lot of problems with this monitor not showing the correct information for you. Uh, so what we're programming for is four Battleborn batteries. They're 100 amp hour batteries. So the first thing we're doing, of course, is the battery capacity. We're going to change that to 400 amp hours. Your charge voltage parameter, that's actually going to be your charging voltage. Uh, that it needs to see before it resyncs back to 100%. That's one of the many parameters it's got to meet. Uh, for Battleborns, your charging voltage is 14.4, so your charged voltage should be 14.2. Next thing you see is the discharge floor. That's going to be the point at which you want to tell the batteries that they are 0% or dead. Um, so with Battleborn batteries, you can deplete those down to 0%. Uh, we're going to set it to about 5 just to give it a little bit of a threshold there. Uh, your tail current setting at 4%, that's fine. Charge detection time, three minutes, that's gonna be fine. Uh, Pucret exponent, that's gonna meet according to your battery specifications. Uh, so for Battleborn batteries, they're gonna recommend 1.05. If you have a different type of battery, you can check out the manual down below and see which kind of uh, exponent you need to set yours to. Uh, the charge efficiency factor, again, depends on your kind of batteries, but with Battleborns, they're 99% efficient. So we're gonna change that to 99. The current threshold stays where it's at. Time to go averaging period stays where it's at. Battery start synchronize is a big thing that gets left off a lot of times. Uh, we actually always turn that off. Um, if you don't turn it off, I can tell you what happens. Uh, basically, like for a Battleborn, for instance, if we run those down flat and they shut off and the system shuts down, battery monitor shuts off, then when it comes back online, it's going to automatically show 100% again, which is not going to be right. Uh, other thing that could happen is if somebody goes in there and throws the battery switch off, when they throw that switch off, then it creates that battery's going back to 100% again, even though we don't know where they were at, if they were dead or half dead or if they were 100%. Uh, so we turn this off, and then what happens is when it comes back on, it's just going to show two dashes across the screen until you get back to 100% again, and then it'll resynchronize. All right, so that's it for all the settings on there. All right, so now we're going to be able to scroll through there. We're hitting the plus or minus sign to check out the different readings that we've got. If you missed the install video, please check that out. If you got any questions, just give a call to the number below. Feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.